Hello, am I live? I think I am. Good afternoon. It's Melanie Moore here. I hope you're well. Happy April, April Fool's Day, April the 1st. And um, I wanted to hop on and do a round of tapping for you all. Um, those of you who've been follow following me for a while know that I like to hop on at the first of the month and do a round of positive tapping. And I like alliteration which is why I went back to me being Melanie Moore again. Um, and I like to think of a positive word um, to set the intention for the month ahead. So for April, you know, I think in the past I've used words like awesome, amazing, but that didn't feel quite right for this month. And I decided to choose the word alignment instead. So I want us to do a round of tapping to have an aligned, but also an abundant April as well. Now, abundance is a theme that I'm going to be working on with my members community this month, but I wanted to help us all to tap into abundance because let's face it, right now, there is a lot of people who are probably not feeling abundant the last week or two have bought a lot of financial shocks. Um, lots of people have lost their jobs, either temporarily or having to work unpaid. Seeing kind of a lot of small businesses, um, you know, just people not being able to work anymore, particularly self-employed people have been affected quite badly. So I wanted to us, us, I wanted us all to tap firstly into being in alignment. Now, what do I even mean by being in alignment? That could be seen as being a bit of a, a bit of a fluffy kind of word. Now for me, being in alignment is when everything kind of seems to flow, you're feeling good. You take, I talk about taking action from a place of alignment as well. It's when, you know, you do things because you just naturally want to do them because it feels good to do so. And operating from a place of alignment means, you know, managing your emotions, managing your vibration, which you can do really easily with a round of tapping. But also what I want to bring into this as well is tapping into that feeling of abundance as well. Not just a feeling of abundance, but when we can tune into the feeling of abundance, we are much more likely to attract into our lives. Now, something else I've been working on with my members this month is um, a lot of, the, I've been doing a lot of um, quick 15 minute one-to-one -one calls to help people pivot in their business, to help people to brainstorm ways to think differently about their uh, financial situation, to think about um, the ways in which abundance can come to them as well. And oh my gosh, so many you know ideas are being sparked and being born at this time. So I want you to tap into that creativity, tap into thinking outside the box, tapping into inspiration that will allow you to just do things differently, not just this month, but maybe this could be the time when something incredible is born for you. It's often been, it's been reported that, you know, millionaires are often born during times of recession, in times of, um, you know, you know, during, during big depressions, during big economic dips. And I've been speaking for the last week or so that this we can allow um, ourselves to use this time and to look for the opportunities and the possibility, or we can look at the fear and the doom and the gloom and everything else, because I really believe you are where you place your attention. And just notice and focus on, you know, where is your attention right now? The media is full of some really scary headlines. And, you know, I'm not saying to bury your head in the sand, obviously pretty impossible to bury your head in the sand from what's going on but as much as possible switch off those notifications don't obsess over the new headlines 24 7 I really think that the headlines that are being reported right now are you know some of it is quite I don't know is it irresponsible reporting I'm not sure but I was actually, you know, just on a very side note, I was having a look here on the, on the BBC News website earlier. Yes, I do. Of course, you know, I check out the news and I keep abreast of what's going on. But what I found really interesting um, was a chart of um, all the countries in the world, how many people are currently affected and how many people have died. And, um, and this list, it really kind of varies wildly from country to country. There are some countries in the world where there are no reported cases and no deaths and obviously 
countries like the UK, USA, you know, many parts of Europe have very high cases as well. Now, I would love somebody out there, and I'm not volunteering myself for this, I would love somebody out there to actually look to see if there's a correlation between media headlines, newspaper headlines, and the number of deaths and cases reported. Um, I would love somebody to take this challenge on and come back and share their findings because already there are some countries even in Europe where the the cases are a lot lower than than you know in place like the UK because here I think you know the headline the news reporting is super scary and, and I really believe that it's the fear that is spreading like wildfire and once people are in that place gripped with fear that you know they can't think rationally immune systems are lowered you know this is really what fear does to us and i see even people really close to me that um there is you know heightened levels of fear right now so what i want to do is to help you to kind of eliminate some of that fear we can't control what's going on out there in the world but what we can control is where we place our attention we can control our emotional state and we can control you know what we focus on as well this is the perfect time to focus on other things in your life it's the time to focus on things you want to create things that you want to um, accomplish um, the inner work the you know this is what I'm kind of doing a lot with my kind of members community at the moment this is a time to kind of start looking up at the fears and limiting beliefs that have been holding you back from doing all the things you want to do this I really believe is the time to thrive and to grow if you choose that to be your reality. So now I want to kind of go into a round of tapping to help you to, to get to that place of vibrational alignment, to get to that place of, you know, um, allowing, you know, when we're in alignment, inspiration, ideas and creativity um, are gonna come to you when you can eliminate that fear and the worry and all the other stuff that's going on. So, um, you know the drill, you've tapped with me before, all you have to do is to do as I do, say as I say. Firstly, notice, you know, how you're feeling right now. Now, actually, just before I do go into that, I have lots of resources on my YouTube channel, you know, free tapping videos. If you are feeling fearful right now, I'm not expecting you to go from, you know, being fearful and worried to being, woohoo, let's get all motivated um, immediately. Um, we have to work on this in stages. So, you know, got all sorts of tapping videos on my YouTube channel. Please do go there. It's called Melanie Moore EFT. Go find me, subscribe to my channel. And um, we've even got a tapping video for food cravings. If you find yourself dipping into that biscuit barrel or opening up the fridge more often than normal, go and do my tapping for food and sugar cravings. Um, that is really going to be um, good for you if you can do that. There's also tapping for children as well. If you've got children, teenagers in your life who are feeling anxious or worried right now, I've got a round of tapping for the kids and um, helping them to, you know, let go of the anxiety that they may be feeling right now as well. So what I'm going to ask you to do is to do as I do, say as I say, talk and tap and repeat after me and and I also invite you to come back and do this round of tapping every single day this month. Set some goals for yourself, set some intentions for yourself. Um, I'll give you some ideas. Um, some things I've been tapping with my clients is, you know, setting some business goals or perhaps setting some income goals for yourself as well. You know, how much money do you want to manifest by the end of April? You know, 30 days in April. Set some goals for yourself that you want to um, manifest. Um, picture those goals, imagine those goals and come back and do this round of tapping every day and, um, and focus on that instead. So, right, okay, I am going to start tapping now. So if you are new to tapping, just run through the points very quickly. Here's a karate chop point, um, eyebrow where it meets the bridge of the nose, side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, chin, collarbone, we could use either side, either hand, either side of the body, under the arm and top of the head. Right, let's tap, here we go. I choose to be in alignment this month and I choose to focus on feeling good. 
I choose to be in alignment this April and I choose to deeply and completely love and accept myself. I also choose to focus on abundance this April. I choose to think about my money mindset and I choose to open myself up to all the unlimited channels of abundance that the universe has available for me right now. And I choose to deeply and completely love and honor myself all month. I choose to be in alignment and abundant all the month of April. And I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and forgive myself and anyone else who may be taking me out of alignment this month. I choose to feel in alignment this month. I choose to have an aligned April. And I choose to remember that where my focus goes, energy flows. So I choose to focus on feeling well and staying well. I choose to be open to opportunities and I'm allowing good things to come my way. I choose to focus on my fitness levels and I choose to focus on feeling and staying strong. I choose to focus on the things that bring me joy and I choose to focus on fun. I also choose to focus on staying connected this month. And I choose to trust that all the help and support that I need is available to me. I choose to focus on feeling calm this month. And I choose to focus on friendships. And I choose to focus and recommit to my vision. Perhaps I made goals and plans at the beginning of the year. Perhaps I even made a vision board at the beginning of the year. And while that all seems to have gone out of the window for now, I choose to know that life's just taken me on a little detour. And sometimes detours can lead us to beautiful places. Maybe we could even call this the scenic view. Maybe this detour is going to bring so much more my way. And I'm open to that. And I choose to feel good about this little detour. Because I choose to trust that everything is unfolding perfectly for me. I know that I'm in the right place at the right time. And I choose to know that everything is going to be okay. I choose to stay in alignment this April. 
and I'm allowing this month to be the month the fabulous new things begin. Abundant new beginnings await me. And I'm excited for this. I'm ready for this. And the more I stay in alignment, the more I open myself up to abundance. Allowing myself to feel really good about this. Allowing myself to feel really optimistic. I choose to know that good things are on their way to me. And I am ready to receive them in body, mind, and spirit. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale. So I'd love to know how you're all feeling after that round of tapping. But also, I'd love you to keep coming back to this round of tapping. And I'd love to hear in the comments, you know, what has come up for you as a result of doing this tapping? What changes are you making in your life? Now, in my um, Tapping Into Your Big Vision members community, we talk about the pillars of abundance. Of course, we've just talked about that. Abundance, health, relationships, and environment. Now, I believe that we have the perfect opportunity now to, to do work on all those four pillars of um, your big vision. And this includes working on your money mindset, which I'm going to be diving deep with the members community this month. Also, in terms of health and wellness, you know, this is a time to really kind of think about, um, you know, what you're consuming, literally, what you're eating, um, how you're moving your body. And there are so many amazing online classes and, and ways in which we can, you know, get stronger and fitter without, you know, gym membership. Um, this is the month, you know, to work on the re on relationships. Now, you could be cooped up with somebody who, you know, gives you the time to kind of really work on strengthening that relationship or even more importantly, that relationship with yourself, you know, doing the self-love, you know, or the, the relationship with yourself is something that, you know, you could really tackle, tackle this time. Also is your environment. That's the other pillar that I talk about. So in March, we had a decluttering challenge within my members community because of kind of March got shaken up a bit. We are going to be continuing that in, oh, I've lost my little chart. We're going to be doing that in April as well. We're going to be continuing the decluttering challenge in April. I've also got kind of lots of other plans and, you know, connection. We have weekly, weekly coaching within the members community. Now, I would love to invite you to come join the members community if you're not there already. I know there's quite a few of you here um, in the comments. So thank you for joining. Um, hi, Monique, Sylvia, Karen, um, all members of the community. Thank you for joining. Um, what you also get in within the members community is weekly coaching with me. It used to be fortnightly, but since this outbreak, this pandemic, I've upped that to weekly group coaching we tap. This week we had a bit of a social, we had oracle cards and meditation evening together. We also have a um, monthly guest speaker who, and we also have a library of masterclasses inside the, inside the members community as well. Not only that, there is also a library of exclusive tapping videos that you won't find anywhere else. They're not available on my YouTube channel and this is a library that is growing constantly so um you get all of this for just 27 pounds a month and plus i will also throw in access to the recordings of the global vision board day as well because this is the perfect month to make your vision board this is the perfect month to get super clear on what your heart and soul truly desire you know this is the time for the um you know, to open yourself up to the opportunities that are available for you. So, um, hi, Nicole, I've got another member there just um, joined us in the chat. Um, so yeah, 
if that resonates and if you are feeling a little bit isolated at this time and you are looking for a community of like-minded people who are going to lift you up and support you you know during this time then you know it's an absolute bargain of a price i would love you to come and join me and all the other wonderful members in the community so that's it from me wishing you an abundant april oh thank you Gemma. <laughs> um yeah wishing yeah wishing you an abundant april and yeah sending you all my love and and yeah sending you all my love at this time have a wonderful month and please come back and do this round of tapping every single day but equally i hope to see you inside the members community as well bye everyone see you later okay i can't see how to end this <laughs> here we go